Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. I'm the Mysterious JG, and I kind of realized something after we broke that last video that I can do in the world of upgrading. We got a Tetratic Crown, or Tiara, or something, for defeating Sid Reigns, which we can get more of. This is the item that that boss I mentioned drops. It gives you Tetra Defense on Critical, Cast Protect, Shell, Bail, and Vigilance the first time HP is low. That's pretty useful. But what we really want to do is actually dismantle that thing and get a uh, an item from it that you can get by dismantling it. Uh, and now I'm looking here and I'm realizing we might want to upgrade it and then dismantle it, or dismantle it and upgrade it. I can't remember. Uh, Tetratic Crown turns into a Tetratic Tiara. Let's see, that requires... Scarlight. Do we have Scarlight? I don't think we have Scarlight. Uh... If we've already got Scarlight, this will change my plan slightly. We do not have Scarlight. We have Millerite and Rhodochrosite. So what if we were to go to the shops and the mother load? And we can't even get Scarlight, but we can get something called Purvskite, or as I prefer to call it for fun, Purvskite. Let's purchase a nugget of Purvskite. Why are we doing that? Because we are now going to go to the upgrade screen. We're going to dismantle the Tetratic Crown. We obtain a green needle. And that's all we get. I thought we were supposed to get something else. I am confused. Hold on. This might all mean absolutely nothing here. Oh. Oops. I did actually screw that up. We can turn a... Uh, we'd have to upgrade. Ah, oh, crap. This is more complicated than I realized, and we can't actually do it yet. The Tetratic, whatever the heck it was, thingy. We could uh, upgrade that. See, I shouldn't be reading about this as I play, but I thought I had it all sorted out. This is all stuff, you'd never figure this stuff out without the damn hint book. And this is, this is the kind of crap that you they do in games now. You either need to buy the damned... Uh, hint book, or you can probably get it all out of uh, game facts, but I mean, like, a normal player who is not spending their entire life on this game will not be able to figure out all this fucking, you know, dismantling, upgrading bullshit. The Tetratic... See, it's not, and they've got a list of stuff, but it's not in alphabetical order. Ah. <sighs> So I had a Tetratic Crown, which turns into... Green Needle. It says it... Oh, I had to upgrade it first. Well, wow, fudge. Alright. Never mind, we can do it. I just need to load my game because I screwed it up. Definitely do not want to uh, upgrade smell it before upgrading it. Or I basically lost a pretty valuable item. This is going to eat up a ton of our upgrading stuff, but, you know, whatever. That's what it's there for. While exploring the Ark, we will see meet Sid Reigns, who is, reveals the horrendous truth of the falsy agenda. The 
infinity responsible for creating both falsely and humans, known only as the Maker, departed long ago, leaving the world fallen to ruin. Save it, the Maker must return. Which call back to the Maker, and only it survives. No less, the entire population of Sakuun. Sakuun must be sacrificed. Who says? Thus, the Sanctum Falsi carefully nurtured the people within their floating shell in preparation for this bloody tribute. They were unable to unmake what they themselves made. The Falsi have long sought suitable tools for destruction, ensure and surreptitiously washed and protected so that we could do what they want us to do. But it rains, the bear of this awful truth wheels up to the sea under the control of our candles, so he has a good guide to them and the rebellion against the Falsi. They kill the Pulse of the Sea, the cocoon will escape destruction if he can kill us. So. He turns to Crystal to gain his eternal reward, even though he's defeated. So his whole deal was he's trying to stop us because he knows that Bartandalus has nasty evil plans for us, which are not good for Cocoon. I need to upgrade this Titanic Tommy Titan, whatever the heck this is. Um, Oh, that's all you need? Well, shoot. I didn't realize that I actually went about that in kind of an inefficient way, but whatever. I could have used uh, two or three of these. Probably not worth loading the game for. Okay, now that that has been upgraded, now I should have stayed on the dismantle right there. The reason I only got that little green whatever is because I didn't upgrade it. Now I get Green Needle, Guardian Amulet, Auric Amulet, Watchman's Amulet, and a pair of Hermes Sandals. What are Hermes Sandals, you might ask? Hermes Sandals? And now I almost wish I hadn't bought the Whistle Wind Scarf, although in theory I'll need one eventually, and it's only a thousand. Hermes Sandals will give me Critical Haste. Cast Haste when HP is low, functions only once per battle. And uh, it will also give me the ATB rate plus 15% that Whistle Wind Scarf does. Whistle Wind Scarf, Aurora Scarf, Hermes Sandals, Sprint Shoes, and her weapon, the Axis Blade, whatever. All five of those items are part of a group of items that will increase your ATP rate collectively. So any three of them together gives me the 15%, which means I can sub in Hermes Sandals with Critical Haste instead of the Whistle Wind Scarf. But I'm not going to do that yet, because... If I go in to the mother load and buy myself some perovskite, this may turn out to be a waste too if it turns out I can get a perovskite drop in the relatively near future. Um, if it turns out that there's like one that's going to drop in the next couple of treasure chests, I kind of doubt it. Because uh, they don't usually give you um, super cool. Uh, items that are part of the whole, uh... Well, even if they do, I can just sell it. And I've got a minor loss on my hands. And I gain access to this ability that much sooner. So screw it, I'll just buy it. But, uh, if I buy... Perviskite... To be a better pervert... To improve my perv skills... Now I go to upgrade... And I want to upgrade... The... Hermes Sandals... And I believe uh, these should be a similar thing where they only upgrade once because the things that don't like add uh, a set number of points or they don't um, like you know plus 100 hit points you can upgrade to plus 125 and then 150 and whatever. Or the ones that don't do, like, a certain percentage boost. If they just give you a, you know, this status will be applied once per battle. You don't generally have to upgrade those, like, a hundred times. So, like, these army sandals, I only got to get them up to rank, uh, to max level two. So, yeah, I'm not going to do like I did before and waste these biological ones. Just gonna dump a couple digital circuits onto the thing. Now I've got Hermes sandals, and I can use the Herviskite 
And now I have Sprint Shoes Level 1, which have Auto Haste. I was mentioning this a few videos ago, folks. Now I've got a thing that I've been kind of wanting for a while. I also forgot to start my video, damn it. But I've got something that I've wanted for a while, which is... My party leader will now be able to start the battle with haste applied. Which will be really useful against, um... Just regular enemies and, and winning those battles quickly. Which in the end, I mean, in the long term, that's good because it means you get more five star victories, which increases your chance of item drops, and it really should pay for itself fairly quickly. Um, yeah. So, there we go. Good stuff. Let's go back now to the paradigms and customize and give ourselves Relentless Assault as our standard. And uh, continue on with our exciting quest. We have to go this way now, I believe. And we have to activate this thing. And that may make plot happen. I don't know. Yes, it does. So we accidentally headed... I was trying to backtrack, but we didn't. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Fine, we'll fight you guys. You seem like you want to die. Check this out, guys. Woo! Auto haste. Doesn't matter, we always... With her, because of her, her setup, we always start with full uh, ATB gauge, but... You see, she's got the full five ATV gauge segments. She starts with the full thing because of the, um, whatever the hell item that I forget what it's called. It's not the Whistlewind Scarf, it's the upgraded version. And, uh, she has haste, which, and she's got ATV plus 15%, but basically, she just gets to act really, really quickly and frequently at the beginning of the battle. And I think, honestly, until I get another segment of uh, accessory slot, I won't even use, um... Should I get those uh, sprint sandals that give you... Or Hermes sandals, which give you critical haste? I won't even use that. I'll keep the one where I start with a full ATB gauge. At least until I get to the point where I'm, you know, fighting new bosses or something. Okay, there's multiple paths here, but in this particular little segment, there's no treasure. So I'm just going to go the way which I think is the most efficient. Ooh. What? I don't even know what you're talking about there. I don't know what that party is, so therefore, no, we're not going to crash it. I am not going to crash unidentified bodies. What is she even suggesting we do? She wants us to jump down on... Some group of enemies down there that just like, eh. Unless there's something ahead that I haven't noticed that she's supposed to be able to see. Music. This doesn't go the way I thought it did. I thought I was going to be able to get through over here, and I can't. Crap. Alright, well. I guess I am supposed to come down here some way. Thank you, Map, for misrepresenting what the hell's going on. I guess we do gotta jump and crash this party. That or I'm supposed to... No. I can't figure out what the hell's going on here, but whatever. It did seem like a... oddly under-involved area if you don't get into any of this. So the, the map is, like, incredibly straightforward with no control and confusing at the same time. Eh, whatever, I'm out. This was... I'm pretty sure where we were supposed to go. And, yeah, now I'm in some new area where stuff will happen. Oh, more you guys. 
You guys are fun. You guys are my friends. I guess they don't train Lassie to make your robot bombos. So we don't they don't train Lassies to make peace, they train Lassies to murder everyone, especially these guys. But that's okay, because I got crazy attack speed now. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Enough of this. Enough of this, my... Sneak up on him. There we go, this should be easy now. Just to make sure, I'm gonna do a uh, quake. So that we... Dizzy everybody immediately. That probably wasn't necessary, but we should get the technique points back fairly easily. Yeah, the battle didn't even last long enough for us to really get those technique back points back, but... Whatever. We got a radial bearing. So that makes it all worthwhile. Alright. Okay, we'll probably be more unavoidable battles in here. Yeah, maybe. Again, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight a lot of stuff that I don't have to around here because the next act has better uh, item and uh, gold and uh, hey, a fey mark. I think that's an item for snow. Well, forget it. We'll look at it later. It's something. It's something so bad. Yeah, but this has. Um, I have the uh, ability to get more CP in the next chapter. Probably the battles will be a little tougher, but I'll off-screen my way through them. They'll be exciting and wonderful. You'll enjoy them. Are we going to fight? I would love to avoid it, but uh, yeah. Okay. See? We're going to avoid it. More of this. And I believe we managed to... Almost looks like we avoided a cinema scene. What the hell was that about? Never mind. Be nice to sneak up on him, but... It also seems like it's going to be more trouble than it's really worth. Let's just kick his ass in the old-fashioned way with uh, commando and lots of subversion. Power chain, eh? It does seem like we've done all the, like, uh, seemed like Fang wasn't doing any anything to it anymore. Like, whatever she could do to it had already hit. Kill it before, yeah, thank you. Jeez. This is kind of hanging around, letting it do that thing where it gets 100% health back. Well, we're almost up to five technique points again. And we got a bestial claw, so it's a win-win for everyone. And, uh... We're entering into an area which I only know because of the uh, Brady Games Guide. It's called the Hypogeum. Which I don't really know what the heck that means, except that uh, when I first read it, I thought it was the Hypnogeum, which would have been funnier. Oh well, we don't give a shit. See, it's all you want, but you don't get to fight us unless we feel like fighting you. Ah, oh, these guys. It'd be lovely to avoid them. No, actually, no. For a second there, I thought it was going to. Well, we've actually got, um... Get rid of the stinkies first. Hit. 
this is actually not the paradigm to be using here, but now that I, now that I look at it more carefully, but, uh... Fang is dead, that's not good. No, I forgot to change my paradigm back, that was a mistake. She is my giant stuff! We definitely want to get rid of these guys so that we can focus on the damn behemoth. And, uh, well, haste will wear off soon. It's been very useful to have, you know, while we have it. Okay, this is the problem, but wasn't quite slowed and weakened enough to really let us get away with that. Haste is worn off, but we're gonna win, so. It helps quite a bit that we have a uh, sentinel here. Although Vanille is still in trouble because this thing does use a lot of attacks that will hit an area of effect. But, um, I don't think it's, uh, in my head. I think, uh, yeah, pretty horrible score there. But I don't think it's in my head. I think, uh, Lightning is a lot faster with this setup. And there is a treasure hidden in one of these little corners here. And I believe it's this one. Yay! And what? Oh, cinema scene that I didn't know was coming. But we got a treasure chest out of it. I don't know that it's really worth it, but oh. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Maybe we'll actually get its uh, rare drop this time. Unlikely, but it's possible. I don't really want to waste a ton of debuffs on this thing, but it's probably faster to just get rid of it than to switch paradigms now. Big time. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm hoping that we'll finally get the damn five stars. That's one of these guys. I guess we got that once before. Yay! Yay, us. And we got a Transformer. More than meets the eye. And our escape route reopened, and we can get this. <laughs> YouTube buying. Three electrodes, that's what all that was about. One for each nipple and one for your never mind. I'm pretty pleased with the, uh... It's the kind of thing I would not figure out. I, I didn't do this in my first playthrough, because I didn't bother with upgrading items very much. You don't really need to, if you're willing to just grind for chrysanthemum points. But I'm quite pleased with my, um, haste shoes. Now we have ahead of us a very long corridor, with only one treasure in it, uh, to end act. So let's, um... Let's just see if we can knock this act out in what will probably end up being an overlength video. But, you know, it'll knock out an act, so that's good.
And there will... Dooley, 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 something's got the drop on us! Literally dropping in from above. See? Isn't that wacky the way that that was done? Damn it, I gotta stop with the whole, uh... Let's go. With this, uh, paradigm that I've got going. I need to, like... Up. I need to switch back to not having that as my default. That's... For one battle, I switched over, and I just have not remembered to go back. Okay. Really do need to defeat this thing now and get on with the damn game. Say, damn it, heal lightning. Thank you. I mean, the haste is what's making lightning seem so much faster. But uh, even when it wears off, it seems like she's getting to act pretty frequently. Yay. Yay us. Another crappy score, but whatever. Got a shattered bone. And that's what I wanted. That's what this whole game has been about. They live in holes that deep under the ground. With the sky to match the world. More of this hidden crap. No, damn it, I forgot again to switch off of this paradigm. I was just talking about how I was gonna switch off of this paradigm. But we got quite a few, uh, Status ailments applied to it before it could uh, do anything. So actually, it seems like it worked okay for us here. But yeah, these guys are pretty easy to beat with a uh, what do you call it? A preemptive attack. So can I get its rare drop now? Amplifier! Yay! I got its rare drop. I'm awesome like that. Now let us actually remember to switch off of that. Well, I'll probably now end up fighting a freaking boss where I absolutely can't use that. So there's only one treasure chest to be found in this whole big long pathway. And you know what, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to shut off my timer now because I know I'm going to run out of time before this video ends. But uh, it doesn't matter, it's one's going to go long, but we're in the last area before the end of the act, so... We're just going to have a long video here, probably. Something can... Oh no, it's these assholes that were beat up routinely in a waste of a freaking time to even fight. Oh no. Okay, so we'll give him the stink eye. Oh! He's gonna give himself whatever the Hell Forbidden Dance does, but it kinda don't matter. I don't believe he buffed these guys. I think he buffs himself first. So it definitely, there's a strategy to fighting these guys. You wanna beat them in a certain order. But once you know what order to fight them in, there's really not a whole lot to it. See, she jumped in there at the end. Damn it, Vanille, just shut up. <laughs> started telling her to shut up, and as I was telling her to shut up, she started making the noise that really irritates me. 
Okay, well, I seem to have forgotten about the fact that I did have uh, chrysanthemum stuff I wanted these guys to get. And I do want to keep moving towards it. Gradually, as it might be actually happening. So they're inching their way too closer. Now I believe... Oh, geez. get out of the damn way! Oh, God! It's like Chrono Trigger. It's like, how the hell am I supposed to avoid any of this crap? Now there's two of the ones you have to defeat first, so this... That's the big variation here. I imagine we'll still find a way to get through. They do the Lombada, the Forbidden Dance. Oh no, she's been hit with that damn status thing. I guess I could use the item that removes it. I think it's Pain Dampener. I don't really remember. Or Pain Shot, whatever the hell it is called. May have cost me five stars to not heal that, but whatever. Guess not. I think somewhere over to the left here is a treasure. And then I think the act is almost ready to end. Had a fairly fairly major plot thing here with uh, otherworldly bones. That's uh, like an alien version of that uh, uh, that crazy doctor chick. Who's like, has the FBI boyfriend? Yeah. Pretty big plot stuff going on with Sid Reigns, but, uh, we've got to have some kind of act boss now that's not him. There's been too much post-Sid Reigns stuff, right? Maybe not. Maybe we just fight a couple more of these and then we go. I don't think we ever fight two of these at once. Uh, but who cares? I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to sneak around, but it ain't working. Alright, fine. I'll fight you straight up with no sneak attack, but it's still should be able to uh, just ignore the damn Centurion Blade and uh, finish it off. Because that's how awesome we are. Because I think the... Uh, with the uh, two Commandos and one Ravager, you kind of drive up the damage percentage a little bit with the Ravager, but it's the Commandos dealing the raw damage, which is what you want in the Stagger, I think. I might be wrong. Maybe you're better off with two Ravagers really ramping up the uh, damage that uh, you get to do at the very end of the Stagger, but Fang could be in trouble if I don't heal her. But I would dearly like to get rid of this thing now. Damn it! It knocked me out of my attack and I didn't get to finish this thing off the way I wanted to. Pulse fire, you get out of the Thanks. Eh, uh, you bring your uh, little girlfriend back to life. I'm gonna finish him off. Or now she's just gonna keep healing herself. Okay, that was a crappy battle, but whatever. We've already got all of its drops, at least one, so it's not that huge a deal. 
maybe I can sneak up on this one because there's two of them wandering around here now, right? Yeah. Or maybe not. It's like reoriented itself. It's like it doesn't know where I am, but it does know where I am. What the hell? It's like, I don't know where you are, but I'm going to vaguely face in your direction. Alright, this time I'll go with the Ravagers, uh... And try to get its, uh... Stagger meter up super high. Oh no, wait, that's no good, because it's, uh... It's the short stagger meter. I need to deal some damage now, because it's about to wear off. But I got Smite, which is a special ability that deals more damage when its stagger is about to end, and it's very useful. Uh, Relentless Assault is better for getting a uh, stagger. So now that the stagger period is over and we need to stagger it again, that's the way to go. And then I'll... S well, I think it's so close to dead, it's not even worth switching uh, paradigms again at this point. Just freaking kill it. There we go. That was obviously significantly better than the last one where we didn't dizzy it or preemptive strike it or whatever you want to call it. We gotta transform her more than meets the eye. Autobots in their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons there. Uh, I'm lightning. I've been hanging around with you for quite a while now. Uh, did we already get a treasure? Am I crazy? Did we already get a treasure here? There was one treasure to get, now I can't remember whether or not we got it, even though it was, like, not very long ago if we got it. Um, what is the damn treasure here? If it was otherworldly bones, I vaguely remember getting those, to make it stupid jokes. Yeah, it's otherworldly bones, we already got it, okay. Alright, so let's, uh, finish this, uh, video and this recording session, and get to freaking bed. Freaking bed my favorite bed. Yep. So, it's a door. That's good. That's right, Vanille. This is a door. We pass through and now... Oh, crap. We're in, like, freaking... Where are we? Are we on Space Australia? I mean, Looks we were like always getting end. there, like, at some point, right? How about down there? Down where, Kev? If the stories are right, it's amazing. Native Americans this call it that. I call it a corn. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges, like huh? math test. To get us all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? Yeah, pretty we much. We can wait I mean, here if Turn and Seath sounds better. It kind of does. I mean, I want to like kill everyone I've ever known. Kind of seems like a dick I move. I have had enough of this. Where's the way out? It's no way, way out. And Who w said there was one? Oh, now snow is gonna be all like defeat us. Bring on the way out that doesn't exist. My mind is made up. I'm gonna destroy cocoon. Maybe I will end up a thief. But until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. You're gonna be real man. You're gonna like start taking those dick enhancement pills. <laughs> meant goodbye. Because it doesn't. That's why it's I just a chunk of crystal. Now I know she's dead forever. Forget about what the sequel seems to suggest. But I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time. In pog form. Right here, watching over me. More empty now platitudes. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the foul sea we should listen to. You know, to. he really makes up a it's lot Sarah of nonsense. It rains. Do you know why? No, you're gonna tell us though. Because our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Well, this is subject matter. Takes. You're right, the subject doesn't matter at all. Same here. Whatever. Yeah, that picture of him posing with the crystal is, uh, shows up in the hint book if you're interested. Yeah, hands in for prayer. Me right. too, yeah. I'm in. The two weenie little kids and the moron are working together while the three adults wander off without us. Yeah, must oppose, bitch. 
I guess I don't really have anything else to do. Chocobo agrees. You know you're on the right path. There you go. Yeah. Count me out. It's not like they eat their own filth. Oh, I've got better things to do. You all want to go it on your own. You can go your own way. And so will I. Hey, hey. Wait, why is she attacking? Can't get what's coming. They hate us for being Lacy. What's it to me if they die? That's it. Murder everyone, Fang. Good idea. Good plan. If you don't have the nerve for it, I'll do it myself. All right, guys, take her out. Go on alone. Get stronger. And smash Cocoon out of the sky. Oh, bang. Uh, you turn Seath and there's no coming back. I'm not... Uh, letting it end that way. This is kind of forced. I guess there's this thing where they have to be in a moment of emotional turmoil before their summon will show up. Uh, and I feel like they're just kind of like, eh, it's time for a new summon. Uh, why would Fang be upset? Oh, let's just make her start yelling out of nowhere, and then we'll have a an Eidolon battle. So here we go, folks, an Eidolon battle. Always your favorite, right? They're like boss battles, except the game pretends they're different by saying they don't have stamina meters, they have Gestalt meters. And instead of depleting it, you have to fill it. But it's basically a boss What's fight. he doing here? And, and who is he? I mean, who is he? Come to take pity on me? Well, to take care of a broken Lassie? You seem to know what it is. That's kind of weird. Things here to help us? Yeah, help. That's what Eidolans do. They help us. Eidolans are our salvation. Kind of like if murder, death, salvation. What to do next, they come put us out of our misery. His ass is like, oh yeah, you know, we never did use my uh, murder, death car. That's pretty cool. Why are you protecting me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't also, need Falsi's orders either. We I'm figure this focus to the end. We'll kill you. We don't want to let no this thing do it. So please. Fight with us. Stop being such a bitch. <laughs> well, it was kind of a random moment of me, you know, freaking out anyway, so. I guess we'll cast Libra on it and see what the hell we can do. Amass chain bonuses. Yeah, they always say that, though. This one should be easy, actually. I mean, I'll say that and then get crushed, but this should be a fairly easy one because we're, uh, we have a full party of three to do this with. Uh, defend and endure against attacks, and we can... Okay, so basically everything that she's able to do, it's, uh... It's weak against. That's interesting. Except they totally changed up our. I'll deal with you. They totally changed up. Oh, because Fang has to be party leader. That's why it's kind of messed with my. Yeah, I just got done saying how easy this would be. We have done a lot of damage to it already, but uh, it would be really nice to have a. Uh, She is not going to bring, uh... Oh, she is bringing her back. I did not think she'd bring her back. Yeah, it, it reset all my paradigms for me, but I still would like to get some, uh... Oh wow, this is going really easily. I had to bring some guys back from the dead, but, uh... Yeah, we've already, we've already won. <laughs> that was really easy. I had to use a phoenix down and a potion because it kind of knocked us around at the beginning, but yeah. 
Everything she's good at, Saboteur, Sentinel, and Commando, gives you big bonuses to this thing, so. It's kind of designed to be... Previous ones were designed to be difficult but winnable. This one was apparently just designed to be really winnable. Or maybe the party I had lined up just happened to be really good against this one. Anyway, we got Bahamut, and... Oh, she gained an ATB gauge segment. And she will get one more uh, whenever I get enough chrysanthemum points. Sorry, I almost sneezed. So huzzah. Hail and well met, friend of the Elo one. Alright, well, I guess I'm done. I'm, I'm done freaking out for no reason now. You know, look, a new path. Man, that's random and handy and unexplained. Or it's Bartandalus again. Right. No, it's Bartandalus again. <laughs> okay. Listen, keep our eyes on the goal and we'll figure something out. Let's do this, team. Let's blitz! Woo! All right. The Kung Fu Hippie from Gangs of City. So I guess being a Lassie doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right. Why, I'm Sarah. Who the hell are you? Why are you talking to me? What the fuck is with that accent? Get old team changed and data log updated. Guess it's time to face the peril of our flight. Yep, whatever. I don't care. I got like no chrysanthemum points out of that, so I'm not gonna bother with that again. Whatever it is the Falsy want, we're the ones who decide what we do. Oi! Oi! Oh, no wonder it seemed like there was one really long path on the, uh, the map. They were talking about, like, this. I just saw, okay, I have more cinema smith. Well, we're gonna end the act now. That was the act boss, so I don't know what more yammering they want to do first, but... Oh, hey, oh, 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 What's a bunch of abos? An airship? And it's from Grand Pulse. So? I guess it was one of this arc's... Weapons. We've seen random unexplained pulse tech everywhere. That's a gate to Grand Pulse. Oh, check it out. It's uh, forces. We must be on Grand Pulse. So what? That's our exit? Pulse? Or bust? I got a bust. Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm -mm. Who cares? I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. Uh, I control that gate. Is where these boys tell it to. Huh, really? That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Smack you, me. bitch! <laughs> oh damn it! Why? Why was it like necessary to way, cut us all the out there? So might as well go. We get lucky. <laughs> Maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. Get some ones with like uh, barbed wire or say mom and have like a Never heart know. and a knife to it or something. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. Maybe you're full of There's shit. Nothing else. Fine. We know Cocoon's safe for the time being. Oh, shut up, Hope. You've been I'd say quiet. It's, worth it's going been to take nice. A look. Maybe. But what about your dad? Fuck my dad. I mean. <laughs> I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going, and do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. He told me he didn't really care, it so it works out. There's no way of knowing what's right. Too many All lies. we can do is believe in ourselves. You got to it's easy to sit back and let people treat you. Power like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that Elysee was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. See. Everyone's all so like looking all thing. inspired. I think they're just like really wanting From to stop talking. Out, I use my eyes. Yeah, that's great, think. kid. And act. I'm gonna take acting lessons. I might not make all the right choices, but as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's nothing to regret. And in the sequel, there's gonna be this chick who's like totally into me. It's gonna be sweet. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm with you. Bad choices and all. <laughs> You're our new leader, Hope. And then he does comic sure relief. Talk and fit. Pulse is hell, you know. Oh, is it now? How many times have you been there? You don't know how wonderful or well, the I mean, uh, actually is kind of hell. Okay, people. Let's throw Sarah around until she disappears because I lose her. So. Everybody in? 
Right, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah let's After go wander around Space Australia. Because that's this is it, folks, for real. Next act is Space Australia, so there will be that to look forward to. Now we're going to get to the act break. No one ever said the future would be easy. No one ever said that it's time for the act break before we get another cinema. Blah, blah, blah. And not a flashback. Seriously? Oh, well, the next act's pretty long, so this is probably the best chance they got to cram Back in cinema the scenes. Saw the glimmer of a dream. Somewhere in the sky that night. Well, maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm full of crap. Why am I even talking to Sarah? Never matter. The tiniest spark of hope. That we could change our fate. Maybe they, she did meet her. I don't know. It'll be revealed in the flashback that they've been best friends for like 30 years, even though neither of them are that old. Who could say? Uh, I could say. I won't, though. Hey, I'm doing like weird finger that poses. I'm like a Wiccan or something. Bullet Witch. Raven Panic. Now it's going to be the end of the act. I want to get to bed. Oh, they're, that's right, they're on a spaceship. They can't just, like, walk to pulse. <laughs> this is going where I say it's going, because for some reason I believe I have control over this thing. Yeah. You did it! Yeah, I, told uh, you I cleared my sinuses, too. <laughs> yeah, our world really is hell, and it's amazing we can survive more than two or three minutes. Actually, I wasn't trying to make that joke, but uh, now you have, I hate you forever. Yeah, Pulse is great, Fang. I'm so freaking glad we came here. She just totally didn't want people insulting Pulse, but like the minute they get here, they're all horribly murdered immediately. What the hell? Oh, summon. I was like, what the hell's going on? See, it was just as showy, but made a little more sense in Final Fantasy X, when this basically the same thing happened. Because they were able to set it up. Here it's just like, hey, you know what, it's been a while since we had an incredibly showy CGI sequence. All right, when we land, I'll summon my my fire car, and we can drive around. Then we get on the ice chick motorcycle. It'll be great. So, Space Australia is Africa. Welcome to Grand Pulse. Suppose this could be the outback. Nah, no, it doesn't really look like. Well, it's a kind of like fantasied up version of either of them, I suppose. Welcome to Grand Pulse. You'll never see yourself alive again. Now, is it the end of the act? I mean, the next act is Grand Pulse, so this has got to be the end of the act, right? Yes, it is the end of the act. We made it, folks. I think it's safe to say we will not be going back to um, the Vile Peaks. So I will save here and call it a video. Folks, when we come back, I'll have some more uh, recording to do, but somewhere uh, while wandering around on Grand Pulse, we can find ourselves a place to do some grinding, um, at which point we will hopefully uh, have an opportunity to level up, since now everybody's uh, capacities for chrysanthemum point spending ballooned when everyone got all six, uh, you know, uh, jobs, uh, specialist roles, whatever, uh, are now available. Uh, but as I've forgotten, uh, until it happened, uh, it's really expensive to get those secondary roles filled up. But they come with stat boosts, so basically from now on we'll have bosses. The tougher bosses are kind of designed so that maybe you are actually supposed to have all the roles um, filled in uh, up to your current chrysanthemum level before you're really supposed to be able to beat the boss, so... Yeah, it could get tough. Um, although I think the boss at the end of this huge, long act isn't really all that bad. But 
whatever. Uh, it's going to take us a hell of a lot more than one video to beat the next act, folks. But from now on, at least until we finish this act, we're in Space Australia, mate. So tune in for that next time. I'm the Mysterious JG. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.